Hi, this is Josh from MYOB. In this video, we'll look at the process of creating a sales order in MYOB Advanced Business. The sales order module can be found in the distribution suite. In the work area, you can see all of the forms related to making and processing sales orders. The first thing to do is create a new order using the sales order form. By default, the order type is set to SO for sales order, so that shouldn't need to be changed. Click the search icon next to the customer field to choose the customer that the order is being made for. The location will be filled in by default, although you can change it if you need to. You can also enter a description, an order number, and a customer reference code, but these are all optional. You can now add line items to the sales order. Click on the main grid, or click the add button to add a new line. Select the stock item to add, and set the quantity. The default branch will be selected. If you're operating with multiple branches, you can choose a different one if you want. Now you can select the stock item by typing part of its name into this field, or as I just did by clicking the magnifying glass button to open a search window. However, you can also add lines for multiple items at once using the Add Item button. Tick the boxes for each item that you want to add, and enter quantities. and then click Add and Close. A separate line is created for each item, and you can then go through and edit them further if you need to. Once all lines have been added, you can save the order. You'll see that at this point an order number is assigned. You'll probably want to send a copy of the sales order to the customer. You can select Print Sales Order from the Reports drop-down to generate a PDF copy of the order which you can print out and send to the customer. You can also select Email Sales Order from the Actions menu to email a copy of the order to the email address set up for the customer. When you're ready to ship some or all of the items in the sales order, click Create Shipment from the Actions drop-down. Select the date of the shipment and select the warehouse that items will be shipped from, then click OK. This creates a shipment record and takes you to the shipment's form automatically. The shipment shows the quantities that will be shipped. If there isn't enough stock on hand to fulfill the whole shipment, you may need to put it on back order. You may need to generate a pick list for the shipment. To do this, click Print Pick List from the Reports drop-down. Once the stock has been picked and is ready to ship, click Confirm Shipment from the Actions drop-down. This indicates that the items have now shipped and reduces the stock on hand quantities accordingly. Once an order has shipped, the next task will be to raise an invoice for it. On the shipments form, click Prepare Invoice from the Actions drop-down to create an invoice for the shipment. This takes us to the Invoices form where the new invoice is displayed. As with the sales order, you can use the Reports drop-down to generate an invoice in PDF format for sending to the customer, or you can click Email Invoice from the Actions drop-down to email the invoice to the customer. The final step is to release the invoice, which again can be done from the Actions drop-down. Clicking Release releases the invoice to the Accounts Receivable module and sets its status to Open. The invoice will be set to Closed once it has been fully paid. If your business doesn't need this extra step in the workflow, it can be automated. We'll look at automation next. We've just seen how to create and process a single order. One final point to note is that most of the steps we saw can be performed in bulk from the Processes tab where there are options to process batches of orders, shipments, and invoices. When you select a bulk process action, all relevant records are displayed. For example, if I select Create Shipment on the Process Orders form, all sales orders awaiting shipment are displayed. Similarly, if I choose the Prepare Invoice option on the Process Shipments form, all shipments that have not yet been invoiced are displayed. In all cases, you can process all of the listed records in one action, or select a subset of records and process only those. You can also create schedules for the processes, so that they can be performed automatically, say, preparing all invoices at the end of every day, or printing pick lists for all new orders every hour. So that concludes our look at sales orders in MYOB Advanced Business. We've seen how to create a sales order, how to generate a shipment and invoice from the order, and how to process orders in bulk. Thanks for watching.